And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the selection show for Trivia Murder Party 1, the medley tournament. You guys know how this goes. Eight episodes, eight slots each. Now, there is going to be one slot already taken. That is last time's winner, King Sombra. He shall defend his championship belt in the tournament. Okay, we all know how this is going to go. Let's not... Ooh. I accidentally dropped something. It's nothing broken. At least it's not my cell phone. Anyway, let's not waste any more clock. You know how this goes. Let's get spinning. Very first slot to be uh, occupied shall be belonging to Cherry Bomb. That's right. She is also in the uh, Trivia Murder Party 1 tournament. All right. And once again, Cherry Bomb is of uh, the Hasbin Hotel lore, Angel Dustin's Gal Pow, and uh, Cyclops, I think. Yeah. All right, spinning the wheel again. Taking it up will be Ed Bosco, the voice actor for Alistair from Hasbin Hotel. Ed Bosco from Chicago. I heard it is very cold and windy over there. Is it also cold and stormy as of this recording here down in uh, Old Town Spring, Texas? Oh, hold on a second. May have a bit of an allergy. If I sneeze at one point, uh, I do apologize. <coughs> there we go. It was going to happen eventually. Anyway, spin the wheel. Third slot is me! <laughs> That's right. I'm self-inserting myself in this tournament because, <laughs> oh yeah, because why the hell not at this point? Yes, I have uh, inserted myself into this tournament. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is going to be a very interesting tournament. Let's spin the wheel to see who's going to be joining myself, Ed Bosco, and Cherry Bomb. It will be. It's Trailblazer once again. Go. Hitch Trailblazer once again. This is of uh, My Little Pony uh, Generation 5. Going to spin the wheel again. Oh. 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 This is going to be an interesting episode. Lucifer Magni of the Hasbin Hotel Lord, that is Charlie's dad, and basically the king of hell. I'm going up against a bomb crazy girl, the voice actor of Alistair, a pony, and literally the devil himself. Oh, this, like I said, this is going to be a very interesting tournament to... And that's what's so great about medley tournaments. You don't know who's going to be in what episode. Who's, you don't know who's going to be in. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Next slot to be taken up is... Wilbur. That is the uh, from the Dream SMP and also featured in that anime by Alana Artroid. All right. So we're going to go ahead... Add him in. Let's go ahead and get spinning once more again. And for the seventh slot, we have Brandon Perna once again of that good sports. Alright, play the intro, all that stuff. Yeah, Brandon Perna is back in. Alright, we're going to spin the wheel once again and see who gets in the tournament. Also, I did switch out some of the names. Oh! -ho! Moist Critical Penguin Zero Charlie! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, he's going to be in the tournament as well. And he's going up against the devil himself, Lucifer. He's going up against the god of streaming, Andex. And Bosco, it's going to be a very interesting episode. Holy crap. So I'm actually going to write critical. And I know the critical part is not spelled correctly. Um, 
I don't know how I was supposed to spell that name. Anyways, recap for episode one of Trivia Murder Party 1 Medley Tournament. Cherry Bomb at Bosco, myself, Hitch Trailblazer, Lucifer, Wilbur, Brandon Perna, and Critical. Uh, imagine if Critical was to find um, this, this whole entire lore of this channel. And he actually reacts to it. It's gonna be a whoo to my All right. Uh, to be clear, these are just names that I'm going to be featuring in the tournament. We all know how this goes. We're gonna spin the wheel. This is gonna be slot one for episode two, and it will feature. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, Alana or Troy is in the. First tour. I think she was also in the uh, Trivia Murder Party 1 tournament um, last time, and I think she lost. I think she lost in, in episode 2 or 4. Anyways, it's uh, definitely going to be very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to spin the wheel once more. And next up is Farasica Mayday of the Hell of a Bus Lore. She was a, she's a pop star succubus that was also at one point a Blitz's girlfriend. Oh boy. Pardon me, skip the channel. Close. There we go. Alright, spin the wheel. Let's see who's going to join Alana and Farasica for episode two. And it's going to be Warren from Farfetch'd. Oh, boy. I think, yeah, this one is the uh, bass player for Seismoid. I think that's how you pronounce the name of the band. But, yes, uh, Warren is a Farfetch'd. Not to be confused with uh, Griff. I think he's the laid-back, uh, um, shaggy-like character. And, of course, not to be confused with Quinn, who is, of course, not my crush. That was a total fucking lie. Anyway, I'm going to spin the wheel once again. And what do we got next is Fluttershy, of course, of the uh, main six G4, My Little Pony. We all know who she is by now. Yay! Oh, boy. She's probably got, not going to have a good time, but she, she will have a lot of Troy with her. So it may be it may be good for her unless Alana Troy was to suddenly turn heel or Fluttershy was to suddenly turn heel. Ooh, what's going to happen? You're gonna have to watch the episode because I haven't done anything yet. <laughs> Spin the wheel again. We got slot number five for episode two to be occupied by Husk again. Husk from Hasbin Hotel. We all know the constantly. Chronic drinking cat with wings, the gambler, and lover of all magic. We're just going to spin the wheel once again, see who gets uh, slot number six, and it's going to be Rose Chu again from the Chris Chan lore. Uh, Rose Chu, the OG Rose Chu. We're going to spin the wheel one more time. And this time we are going to pick up Barbie Wire from Hell of a Boss. That's Blitz's sister. Ah, uh, so she was on the wheel um, in the last selection show, but did not get selected. All right, final slot for episode two is going to be occupied by... Madrano, the creator of the entire lore in of itself. Has been Hotel, Hell of a Boss, Zoophobia. Uh, I think there was another one. I'm not sure. But anyway, the OG herself, Vivian Madrano. Oh my goodness. All right. Uh -huh. So ladies and gentlemen, recapping for episode two. Alana Artroid, Baraska Mayday, Warren... Fluttershy, Husk, Rose Chew, Barbie Wire, and Vivian Medrano. Alright, episode three, we're gonna spin the wheel, see who else gets selected. 
who is going to be the next winner of the reaping slash lottery? Blitz! Ah, Blitz is back! Uh, we all know who Blitzo is at this point. I've pretty much spent forever and a day talking about him in the last episode. Alright, and don't forget if you guys did watch the Trivia Murder Party, Asmodeus! Oh! Uh, from the uh, episode 7, this is also known as Ozzy. He is the, uh, I want to say Overlord? And also owner as of Ozzy the, uh, in the Lust Ring of Hell. Yeah, the, the lore is a very interesting lore. you got to watch Episode 7. Or actually, don't if you don't want your heartstrings being tugged and pulled like that. Again, Vivian Madrano, what the hell? Anyway, next selection up is... Valentino! Once again, ladies and gentlemen, in the voice of... Uh, urinating tray because I just like the way he would say F you anybody. Fuck you rat man Yes. Oh actually yeah Valentino and Asmodeus is in the same episode. Will we see an alliance or will we see a rivalry? There will not be any in betweens. Definitely going to be an interesting episode to look out for. Who I might say ooh, but where the hell did I get ooh from? Anyway, spend a wheel. Let's see who's going to join in slot four in episode three. And that's going to be... Vortex! Oh, yes, the, um, the big giant hunk of meat, Hellhound, and uh, Luna's love interest from the uh, uh, he uh, Hell of a Boss lore. Spin the wheel. We're going to spin it again, see what we get next. And for our next selection, we have... Pip Pedals, My Little Pony uh, G5, New Generation. Again, I have not gotten around to um, watching, the, watching the film. Anyway, we're going to spin the wheel, see what we get next. And for this one, we have... Zip store! Oh, I think, um, if I remember correctly on the, uh, Wikipedia description, that's, uh, Pit Petals' sister. Oh, so we got a bit of a sibling rivalry here. So not only do we have a Lust Lover versus Lust Lover from Hell rivalry going on in the same freaking episode, we also have a sibling rivalry there as well. Also, I think Blitz of Vortex got a little, uh, bit of beef with one another at one point in, uh, that, uh, Spring Break episode, so... This will be a very, like I say, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen. That's why, that's why I love doing these things. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of these more often. Anyway, next up is Griff from Farfetch'd. Yes, the uh, Shaggy-like character, laid back. Uh, is he the vocals of the band says more? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, Bruce the keyboard. Um, oh god, what's that, uh, what's her name? I think I put her on the wheel, but I forgot who she was. She's the guitarist, Ward's the bassist, um, Quinn is the drummer, so I think by process of elimination, Griff is the vocals. So we're gonna go ahead and, uh, spin the wheel once more, see what we got next. And next up on the docket is... Ollie Davis, the OG from uh, Wrestle Talk, support Wrestle Talk, support each other. Oh boy, Ollie Davis is definitely going to be um, going to be a fish out of water in this in this episode. <laughs> I think he is the only IRL human I think so far been selected. Oh no, no, I'm wrong. It's at Bosco and Vivian Madrano, but. Yeah, in this particular episode, Ollie Davis is definitely going to be um, a fish out of water. Or maybe they're all going to be fish out of waters in uh, comparison to the great god himself, Ollie Davis. Is Ollie Davis god? Who knows? Who cares? Let's spin the wheel because we got more selections upcoming. Next up. Oh, crap. 
Oh, Ashley Nichols is back in uh, episode four of slot one. I am completely screwing up everything right now. Um, right, once again, recap for episode three real quick. Um, Blitz, Asmodeus, Valentino, Vortex, Pip Petals, Zipstorm, Griff, and Ollie Davis for episode three. Episode four is going to feature Ashley Nichols. Number two shall feature... Come on now. Come on. Jumbo! From the uh, Dream SMP lore that was that was featured in the uh, animaic that Alana Troy made. So we're going to go ahead and just spin the wheel once more. See who's going to join them in slot number three. Spike! Of course, the uh, dragon from My Little Pony uh, G4. So we're going to go ahead and uh, spin the wheel once more. Don't mind my dog, Vivian. Apparently, she may be uh, yelling at the delivery person for some weird reason. Anyway, Applejack is now in the play. Definitely going to be uh, an interesting episode. I think all the episodes are going to be uniquely interesting. Luke Owen from Wrestle Talk. I think he was like the second person on board to ever join Wrestle Talk next to the very first one, the one that started it all, Ollie Davis. We're going to go ahead and spin once more. And next up on the docket is Blake Sonichu from the Chris Chan lore. I'm going to actually double check, make sure that there wasn't anybody waiting for me at the door. Give me a second. Alright, that was a UPS man apparently delivering a package for us. We get a lot of packages here. So anyway, uh, yeah, Blake is in number six for episode four. We're going to go ahead and spin the wheel once more and determine who's next in the docket. And it's going to be, good lord, this wheel is lagging. Baggy, once again, uh, Charlie's girlfriend from the Haspen Hotel lore. That'd actually be an interesting uh, championship episode of Baggy and uh, Brandon Perna. I mean, not Brandon Perna! I meant to say fucking Lucifer! <laughs> Where the hell did bring... Oh my... Lucifer, I meant to say Lucifer. Baggy and Lucifer ended up in the uh, championship <laughs> I fail, ladies and gentlemen. I fail. All right, spin the wheel. Let's just move on. Let's just keep on trucking, ladies and gentlemen. All right, next up is going to be Fitzaroli from the Hell of a Bus lore. All right, so uh, yeah, Fitzaroli's in both episodes. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel. We all know who Fitzaroli is. Oh, God dang it. Um, episode 4, real cap, real quick. Ashley Nichols, um, Tubbo, Spike, Applejack, Luke, Owen, Blake, Bag, and Pizzaroli. Nifty is going to take up the first slot in episode 5. Very nifty indeed. Alright, we're going to spin the wheel once more. And of course, Nifty is of the uh, Aspen Hotel lore. Ooh! Muffins, a.k.a. Derpy Hooves from uh, My Little Pony G4. One of the, the Internet's favorite ponies, you know. And the whole thing about that is that was actually an animation error that was never meant to be a wall-eyed character. But, of course, the fandom adopted her. And uh, and the rest is history. We all, anybody in the Brody fandom knows who Derpy Hooves is. Let's go ahead and get this uh, wheel spinning once more. See what else we're going to yank off the wheel. We have Bricks Jr. once again of the um, um, 
Immune to Football League. That's the uh, parasite that grows up, that grew on the shoulder of uh, Brickhead Mulligan. Alright, I've already explained it in the uh, previous uh, selection show. Let's just go ahead and move right on forward. Muta from Subordinary Gamers. Yes, Muta is back. Oh, and yeah, he is in Episode 5 of Trivia Murder Party 2, and he's going to be in Episode 5 of uh, Trivia Murder Party 1. Very interesting. Also, um, wait a minute. I mean, yeah, you know, I was wrong. I thought another episode five participant is um. Well, you know, we still we're only halfway through episode five, so let's keep fill in the rest of the four slots. Next up on the docket is Rosie from Haspen Hotel. That's the uh, overlord. From the Haspen Hotel lore, I think is uh, Alistair's pursuit interest. Also, yeah, I did check back on Trivia Murder Party 2. Alistair's not in this one, even though I put him on the wheel. Hmm. Hmm. Again, a straw reddit.com r slash hmm. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel, see who gets slot number six. And next up is going to be. Princess Celestia! Oh! Now, we are definitely going to see um, an interesting championship episode of Celestia and um, Lucifer. Hmm, we're going to have a bit of a battle here, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of a battle here, indeed. Spin the wheel once more. Who's getting a, episode, a slot number seven? It's going to be... There we go! We have Alistair! Whoo! The radio... Oh! Alistair's in the same episode as Rosie! How is this going to play out? Like I said, you got to watch the episode. It's going to be all kinds of interesting. Oh my god, Alistair, definitely, uh, not one of my man crushes again. I am fucking lying out of my ass. Anyway, I'm going to spin the wheel. We need to fill up the last slot for episode five, and it's going to be belonging to... What? Someone will figure it out as soon as the wheel stops spinning, because it's lagging like crazy. The Internet Historian. All right, so, um... Oh and, oh, and he was also in Episode 5, so we have both Mudahar and Internet Historian. They're going to battle it out in Episode 5 again. Oh boy, this is going to be a bit of a rematch scenario. Anyway, Episode 5 recap, we have Nifty, Derpy Hooves, Bricks Jr., Mudahar, Rosie, Princess Celestia, Alistair, and the Internet Historian. Alright, and uh, Episode 6, we're going to go ahead and get started and uh, fill up those fill up the slots for that episode, and the first one on the docket is going to be Lilith Magni, oh, Lucifer's wife, the queen of hell, oh. Am I spelling her name? Anyone in the Hasman Hotel lore, did I spell Lilith's name correctly? I am actually not very confident in that. Oh, and, uh, dear Queen Lilith, if I did spell your name incorrectly, please forgive me. Or, spite me. I don't care anymore. <laughs> but please forgive me, I did not mean to spell your name incorrectly if I did spell your name incorrectly. Anyway, Slot 2, Episode 6 is now belonging to... Oh! Sonichu himself, the Electric Hedgehog Pokemon of the Christian lore. Zap it to the extreme, or probably not, if uh, Lilith has anything to go by. Like I said, this is going to be... A, I'm going to say this repeatedly over and over and over again. It's going to be an interesting episode, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Sonichu is in slot number two. Who's going to be in slot number three? It's going to be... Pinkie Pie of the main six. 
uh, My Little Pony Generation 4. Oops. Wait, hold on. Forgot to add the pie on there. There we go. We got the pinky pie. Alright, spin the wheel once more. We're gonna get things uh, going. Next up on the docket, as soon as the wheel quits freaking lagging. Nate Shapiro, the OG You Don't Know Jack host. Voiced by Harry Gottlieb, the guy who founded Jackbox Games, or previously known as Jellyvision Games. Yes, Jellyvision Games, they still existed. They've been rebranded as Jackbox. We're going to spin the wheel once more and fill up episode 5. Good lord, we got a lot of, uh, a lot of notifications on the phone. I think it's mostly from news words, but, uh, yeah, nothing of note. Nothing of note. Oh! My dog! Yes! I do have my dog. That was the dog that was barking at the UPS man earlier. But yes, Vivian is in the tournament. <laughs> uh, why did I put my dog in the tournament? Um, because I needed another slot filled. Why the hell not? It's the medley. It's the medley tournament. Anything can happen. Oh boy. And, and besides, this is the same tournament as myself. Um, yeah, yeah, my dog's in there, same episode as Nate Shapiro, Pinkie Pie, Sonic Chew, and Lilith Agni. Who's going to be in slot number six? It's going to be... Brickhead Mulligan! That's the color commentator for Mutant Football League. Uh, Brickhead Mulligan is the only Mutant Football player to ever be cut from the league for testing positive for not taking enough steroids. But the steroids that Brickhead Mulligan did um, did uh, take resulted in Bricks Jr. being born. So yeah, that's a pretty interesting of note. Also, Brickhead Mulligan is incredibly stupid, mainly due to the incredible amounts of CTE, concussions, and all the head trauma he had taken on in the Mutant Football League because there is no such things as... What the hell am I saying? Concussion protocol. There's no such thing as concussion protocols in the Mutant Football League. Oh boy. Oh boy, 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 boy. I am not doing this with the script, ladies and gentlemen. I am just playing this, ladies and gentlemen, by ear. We're going to spin the wheel once more. we got two more slots to fill. Next up is going to be... Angel Dust! Angel Dust of Aspen Hotel Lore. Uh, surprisingly enough, I did not slip, uh, sl uh, slip in uh, Fat Nuggets. That's Angel Dust's pet pig. Even though I slipped in my own dog. Why? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Anyway, next up on the slot is Octavia from Hell of a Boss. Oh, boy. So, ladies and gentlemen, recap for episode 6. Lilith Magony, Sonichu, Pinkie Pie, Nate Shapiro, Vivian, Brickhead Mulligan, Angel Dusk, and Octavia. Alright, let's move on to episode 7. Let's get this wheel a-spinning. First on the docket for episode 7 is going to be... Smokey McSee! Okay, so let me go ahead and explain to you who Smokey McSee is. He's the guy that for some reason has Surfshack Tito as a profile picture, but uh, he's a Chris Chan commentator. He is very well known for reading all of the uh, Chris Chan letters and all that stuff. And as even... Yeah, he basically rose to prominence after apparently uh, Isabella's dad invaded his comment section. I don't know what the hell was going on, but uh, yeah, he's now one of my favorite channels to uh, listen to, and hopefully y'all soon, uh, y'all would soon, smoke a bowl, all that stuff. Um, if you're wondering why it's called Smokey McSee, originally it was Smokey McCrack, but it got shortened due to um, YouTube um, sensibility guidelines. Boo! But anyway, Smokey McSee, He's a cool dude. Um, 
And you know, he, he's a he's a very chillax kind of guy, man. Anyway, we're gonna spin the wheel. That's uh, Smokey McSee is in slot one for episode seven. Next up on the docket is going to be. Uh, 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 oh! Ah, uh, she's back, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Chan. Mrs. Jesus Christine Weston Chandler Sonic 2, your CPU goddess blue heart and Lord and Savior Messiah and God of all. Yes, she is back. And in the same episode as Smokey McSee. Hmm. Again, a strong hmm. Oh, this I'm going to say it again. This is going to make a very interesting episode. Oh, you know what would be uh, super cool? If the wheel landed on Liquid Crisp. Could it happen? Well, we may not know if we don't spin the wheel, so round and round and round she goes. Where is it going to stop? I don't know either. <laughs> anyway, next up on the docket is Moxie. I don't think Moxie was in the previous selection show, so... Yeah, nice to see Moxie in the same uh, episode as Christian and Smokey McSee. Moxie is probably looking at his opponents, or at least one of his opponents is like, What have you done, Andex? Mm. I'd make a great overlord in hell. Anyway, spin the wheel one more time. Let's see who's getting uh, slot four in episode seven. Aha! Garrick Revol! You're back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Garrick Revol, who's competing in Episode 6 of Trivia Murder Party 2 Meddling Tournament, is in Episode 7 of Trivia Murder Party 1, and yes, you are in the same episode as Miss Christine Weston Chandler. Sorry, to and I deeply apologize for that. I'm sorry, but that's just the way the wheel spins these. Oh, and I promise not to, um, call call that action the spinsies anymore. Uh, <laughs> I swear, I have not a drink of alcohol. In fact, I should probably be drinking a whole bottle of whiskey to calm myself down. I amuse myself. Anyway, I'm going to spin the wheel once more. And see who else is up next. Oh, boy. And it's going to be... Sunny Star Scout um, from My Little Pony G5. Alright, let's spin the wheel once more, see who else pops up. Now, let's give this one a double click, just so I can get some more randomness in my life. Next up is Rarity! Oh! This is, yes, a Rarity indeed, a G4 pony versus a G5 pony. Oh my, and Chris Chan is looking at this like, I'm in paradise now. <laughs> That was probably one of the most horrific Chris Chan impressions I have ever attempted. Oh, God, I, got, I gotta work. I, I really want to be a voice actor, so I really need to work on my shit. <laughs> right, let's just spin the wheel. Let's just go on to the next selection of the slot. Um, anyway, next up is... Kira the dog from Farfetch'd. All right, yes, that's the uh, hell puppy from Farfetch'd. Oh boy, I wonder. Oh, oh, I had something in my brain and I completely lost it. Like I said, I am not going off a script, ladies and gentlemen. This is all played by ear. Final slot for episode seven is going to be occupied by Stolas. From a hell of a boss. We all know the daddy poot poot. God damn it, I did it again. I don't care anymore. Anyway, recap for episode 7. Smoking McSee, Chris Chan, Moxie, Gurik Revel, Sunny Star Scout, Rarity, Kyra, and Stolas, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's go ahead and get uh, episode 8. First slot is already filled up by King Sombra because he won the uh, previous Trivia Murder Party the tournament. So he's going to defend his belt 
So let's find out who's going to take up star, uh, slot two. I'm going to triple spin this one because why not at this point? Second slot is to be filled up by Luna. That's right, Luna from Hell of a Boss. Not to be confused with Princess Luna, which is spelled L-U-N-A. Anyway, I'm going to spin. Spinsy, spinsy, spinsy. Oh, god dang it, I did it again. I did the whole spinsies thing again. Grim Blitzrow, the play-by-play -play commentator of Mutant Football League. Uh, now, uh, now we got all three members of the commentary team of Mutant Football League in separate episodes. Briggs Jr. in episode 5, Brickhead Mulligan in episode 6, and Grim Blitzrow in episode 8. I'm going to spin the wheel once again. See who else pops up, and it's going to be Adam Jackson from Five Points Vids. Yes, Adam Jackson is officially back. Oh, uh, yes. Um, I've already explained who he was in the uh, previous selection show. Adam Jackson is the, the 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 king of stadium videos, and he's also the guy with the lukewarm takes. Also, I should pretty much mention, they also got a uh, coffee company called Benchwarmers Brew. Y'all should look it up on Google and um, check that out. Anyway, I'm going to spin the wheel because we got four more slots to fill for this uh, tournament. Alright, slot number five will be filled up by Rambo from the uh, Dream SMP series featured in the, the Animaic from uh, Lana Torrey. I kind of like how um, Alana Troy drew Rambo and how the character Rambo is uh, drawn himself. He's kind of like half black, half white, half red eye, half green eye. I mean, you, you got you to gotta look, just look him up on Google. Look up, uh, and I think, uh, Vivi, uh, Vi, who, why did I mention Vivian Madrano again? Alana Troy. Alana Troy um, drew a dang good uh, fan art of him. Anyway. We're going to spin it again. We're going to double spin it for extra variety. Let's go in and see who's going to take up at slot number six. And it's going to be... Stuart Ashen! I may have mixed up his um, internet name and uh, his surname, which is just Ashen Singular. Anyway, yes, Ashen, he is the guy that reviews crazy, cheap, old knockoff tat on his brown sofa. Look up Ashens on YouTube. Subscribe to him. He is supremely awesome. I first started following him um, because I was looking for a review for um, the Mini Polystation 3 because I was completely bored out of my mind. And that's how I got introduced into the world of Ashens. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. He's probably not going to win this one either. Oh, boy. Anyway, we're going to spin the wheel. Stuart Ashen, ladies and gentlemen. Slot number seven is going to be filled by... Magic Chan. Oh, boy. Yes, the uh, psychic electric hedgehog Pokemon. Magic Chan of Chris Chan lore. Oh. And, of course, one of uh, Chris Chan's husbands. Or spouses, but uh, who cares at this point? We got one more slot. We gotta fill this up, and it's going to be filled with. Ooh, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Striker from Hell of a Boss. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, episode eight recap: King Sombra, Luna, Grim Blitzrow, Adam Jackson, Rambo, uh, Ashens, Magic Chan, and Striker. So the whole tournament. Recap, Episode 1, Cherry Bomb, Ed Bosco, and Dex, myself, um, Hitch Trailblazer, Lucifer, Wilbur, Brandon Perna, and Critical. Episode 2, Alana Artroid, Veruska Mayday, Warren Fluttershy, Husk, Rose Chew, Barbie Wire, Vivian Medrano. Episode 3, Blitzo, Asmodeus, Valentino, Vortex, Pip Petals, Zip Storm, Griff, and Ollie Davis. Episode 4, Ashley Nichols, Tubbo, Spike, Applejack, Luke, Owen, Blake, Naggy, Fitzaroli. Episode 5, Nifty, Derpy Hooves, Briggs Jr., Mudahar, Rosie, Princess Celestia, Alistair, Internet Historian. Episode 6, Lilith Magni, 
Sonichu, Pinkie Pie, Nate Shapiro, Vivienne, my dog, not to be confused with Vivienne Madrano, Brickhead Mulligan, Angel Dust, Octavia, Episode 7, Smokey Mixie, Chris Chan, Moxie, Garrick Reval, Sunny Star Scout, Rarity, Kyra, and Stolas, Episode 8, King Sombra, Luna, Grim Blitzrow, Adam Jackson, Rambo, Ashens, Magic Chan, and Striker. Woo! We are going to have a very interesting Trivia Murder Party 1 medley tournament. Alright, so, um, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I hope you guys like it. Please like, share, subscribe. Get ready, because the Trivia Murder Party medley tournament is going to start very soon. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Did you think I was done with the selection shows? Oh, no, 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 ladies and gentlemen. I got two more medley tournaments. One for You Don't Know Jack Fullstream and the other for The Wheel of Enormous Purple.